Welcome to an Empower PL video tutorial. We are going to be looking at Google Slides during this particular video. Um, we're going to be creating something from scratch and adding a lot of stuff that you can add typically to uh, a slide presentation. So what you see on my screen here is Google Drive, and I'm going to go up to the plus button located up at the top left to go ahead and create a brand new um, Google Slide. And you'll see that when you click on that button in the drop down menu, Google Slides is one of your options. So go ahead and select that. It'll pop open a brand new uh, Google Slide presentation, which uh, when it first pops open, you'll notice it is untitled. So that's actually the first thing that we're going to do. So we want to click right in that section. And as you can see, when I hover over with my mouse, it uh, shows up with a little bounding box. And, uh, and you can go ahead and title this. So we're going to call this a demo uh, presentation. And then all you have to do is just click away from that section. So I just clicked back over here on the slide um, so that it would take me off of that uh, particular um, uh, section there. So now I've named my presentation. Um, and it's that simple to name it. Once you've done that, you'll notice that the first slide by default has some text boxes already ready to go that uh, you could simply just tap in uh, and then add a uh, title if you wanted to and then a subtitle, which was the secondary box that was available there. You'll notice on the right-hand side, I also have by default opened uh, the themes section, which allows me to scroll through here. And if I wanted to use a theme, I could certainly select any one of these items here. And uh, my uh, presentation is going to now um, take on whatever theme uh, this has. And that includes things like alignment. You saw my text actually moved and flushed over to the left hand side. So it's aligned to the left. The fonts even changed, um, the colors adjusted, and of course the background, uh, because that was the theme I selected, um, was also adjusted. Of course, if you don't want to use themes, you don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and just close that out anyway. Um, and what I'm going to do is now add an additional slide. Now there's different ways to do this, and I'm going to show you the most basic way really is just to come up here to your uh, menu uh, where you see slide, you click on that and from the drop down menu, you'll see that the option is there to create a new slide. You'll also notice uh, the shortcut control M for those of you who like to do um, keyboard shortcuts, you could certainly use that to create a new slide. So I'm gonna go ahead and create new slide. And remember I apply the theme, which is why by default, it uh, has already created sort of this blue banner up at the top with already the boxes that I have to be able to add my text. So I can just go right on in there and, um, and add my text to these boxes that are there. Of course, if you wanted to add a text box and you don't wanna use what's already there, I'm just gonna delete what's there and then come up here to the top to select my text box, and it's that little icon with a T inside it. It's got a bounding box around it. And by simply selecting that, it's gonna allow me to then come over to my, um, my artboard or your slide and be able to just click and drag to create your own text box. And then from here, you can start typing in. Uh, so demo, I'm just gonna say demo text box. And then you can, of course, highlight that. And you'll notice up at the top, you're going to see a lot of the same features you would normally find across Google Docs and other feature, uh, other tools where you can change the fonts, the sizes, you can bold content, italicize, et cetera. So all of those features are the same across the Google products, and it's no different here in Google Slides. But just really quick, so, um, so far we've created a brand new presentation. We applied a theme. Um, that was available there on the right hand side. We've um, added a new slide and uh, titled our slide, etc. But I want to show you how you can also do this from scratch without using a theme. Sometimes you're creating something brand new and you don't necessarily want to use the theme that's there. Instead, you want to completely customize and use your own graphics and your own style. So once again, we're going to go back to Drive and create a brand new slide deck. And this time, like I said, we're not going to use a, uh, a theme, but instead we're going to create our very own uh, presentation. So once again, we're going to title our document located up at the top left. We're going to call this Demo Presentation 2. 
And what I'm going to do is simply close out the themes uh, menu located here on the, on the right hand side because we don't need that. And I'm also going to select these two boxes that I have here as a default, get rid of them, and instead just come right in and uh, I'm going to start something from scratch. So I'm going to call this demo. I'm going to highlight that and change my font. Maybe make this, you know, 60 points. And so I'm starting to build my own presentation with my own style, my own fonts, my own, you know, I can do my own colors, etc. So all of this can be done to your liking. You might decide, I just want a quick theme so that I can get this presentation uh, completed quickly and also look really nice. Or I want to take my time and actually add uh, my own content. Speaking of adding your own content, let's take a look at what else you can add. So up here in the top uh, left-hand side in your menus, you're gonna see one of your options is for insert. You can bring in images directly from uh, your computer, so you can upload those. You can also search for images on the web. If you already have images in your Google Drive, you can certainly go to Google Drive and bring them in from there. I also love using Google Photos as my option because a lot of my photos that, I'm, that I use for my presentations um, are already in my Google Photos in albums. Um, and so I really like that, that option as well. You can, of course, activate your camera and take a picture or search for images via URL if you've been given a URL to be able to uh, uh, use that, that uh, particular um, image from, uh, from the web. So lots of different options there. We're gonna go ahead and do one really quick one. We're gonna search the web. Uh, and uh, we're just gonna look for, uh, let's say flowers. I'm gonna hit enter and uh, go look for an image. So here's one, let's say I like this one. I simply select it and click insert, or I can click and drag that right over onto my artboard on my slide. And there is the, uh, the image, so it's ready to go. The other thing we can do, and I'm just gonna right click over my slide here on the left, and say new slide. So this is another way in which you can add uh, a slide is by going uh, and just right clicking on the current thumbnail of the slide and say new slide. You can of course um, go to um, slide up here at the top and then say new slide. So different ways to certainly do that. I'm gonna get rid of these two um, boxes that by default just will always pop up uh, when you're creating a new slide there. Um, and this time, instead of adding a, an image, which is what we just did, we are gonna actually go and add a video. Now, as of right now, uh, you're able to bring in YouTube videos um, uh, by either searching for them. If you have a, a, already the URL for a particular video you wanna bring in, you could certainly change that and then paste the link in here. You can also bring in Google Drive videos. So if you've recorded content and you wanna go to your drive, you could certainly do that. I'm gonna do a search, um, because I'm gonna bring in a, let's say a 10 minute timer. I do this a lot when I create presentations. If I have an activity in my presentation, I'll drop in a timer and I'll put it up like in the, the little corner so that, that it doesn't interfere with the content. Um, and this is just a really great way to keep track of things in your presentation. So 10 minute timer, select, and it's gonna drop in uh, the YouTube video here. And again, because this is just a timer, I don't need it to be really, really big. I'm instead just gonna drag it over and uh, pop it in right here on the right-hand side. And let's say that, um, I'm just gonna copy this, bring it over. Let's say this was part of our activity where it's, you know, I leave instructions here and say, okay, I want you to uh, crop uh, this video, or crop, sorry, this photo and add a tagline and I give people 10 minutes to actually go in there and, uh, and do that work. Now I'm gonna click on uh, the video here because I wanna show you what popped up on the right hand side and, and this has been really useful. In fact, when these features were added, I was like, score, this is perfect. Um, when you bring in a video, you do have the option on customizing where it starts and where it ends. So if you had a video that was too long and you really only want to see a certain portion, you can tell it exactly where you want that video to start and exactly where you want it to end by simply adjusting the times. You can also change this to where if you're in presentation mode and you're moving from one slide to the next, where it automatically begins to play your video so you don't have to click on anything on the screen. Of course, if you are using a clicker and you want it to uh, play once you hit the click button, you can certainly just choose that first option. 
And the last one, really what it means is that uh, it won't do anything when it gets to the slide that has the video. Instead, you have to manually go and click on the play button for that video to start. So some really cool options there to control um, what happens with, um, with your video. So lots of cool things there. Um, hopefully these sort of little um, extras are helpful when you're building your presentation.